Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Kiriel. Today we're going to be testing out an interesting new launch by Huda Beauty. She's released a new sister brand called Glowish. And today we are going to be testing, swatching, doing a full day wear test on the brand new Multi Dew Skin Tint. I got mine in the lighter shade, which is Fair One. You'll see in the video what I think about the shade, how it matches me. I'm pretty fair, but I'm not the fairest of them all, unfortunately. <laughs> Can discuss the inclusivity of this when we see the shade on me but we're going to go through how it applies the texture the coverage everything like that and you'll see how this reacts on combo but mostly oily skin so if this has piqued your interest then all you need to do is keep on watching but first if you're new don't forget to subscribe hit the red button down below and the bell button and then you'll get notified of my future uploads just like this one and yeah with all that said let's get right on in to the details So I picked this up from Cult Beauty. It was £32, but I believe I got a discount on it. It's also available on Huda Beauty's website and their other retailers like Boots, Feel Unique. It's even available on ASOS, which I find interesting. I did not know Huda is available on there. This is the outer packaging. It's cute. It's very basic. It does have a little bit of pastel color on there, which I adore. <laughs> and it is paper. So this is one of the big things about this brand is that she wanted to be more economical and have more recyclable components. So the actual box Box. and the actual product packaging I believe is fully recyclable as well as being derived from recycled products I believe this is the actual packaging of the product I like it it's sleek it's got a pearlized lid it's very simple functional you know all that jazz it also has a pump which is great. I do like packaging like this because I feel like you can get the majority of the product out, you know, and you can also cut it open if you have pesky product that you cannot reach. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great movement to be moving to recyclable packaging. One thing that I do find weird though is that this is a sub-brand under Huda's name, like this is a brand new brand under the Huda umbrella, you know, whereas I feel like she could have just brought this out as a foundation under her normal brand, but... <laughs> That's neither here nor there. That's so important about the product. That's just a personal opinion. You do get 40 mil in here, so it's a little bit more product than normal because it's usually around 30 mil, but it is a skin tint. So if you're like me, you'll probably use more product than what you usually would with a fuller coverage foundation, you know? But anyway, let's get into the actual claims. This comes in 13 shades. Why 13? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like that number. The shade range looks a bit dubious, I'm not gonna lie. Like there's maybe three deeper shades and the rest are all light medium. I don't know, I'm speaking from the lighter side of the spectrum so I can't really comment on their behalf but just to me the actual swatches don't look that inclusive. Then again it is a skin tint so it's supposed to be a little bit more flexible I believe. They say this is supposed to give your skin a plump and brightening appearance with a luminous dewy finish. It's supposed to give you that no makeup makeup look. It's also supposed to be moisturizing and blur the appearance of your pores but still letting your skin shine through with a second skin finish. It's also supposed to be water, sweat and transfer proof which is such a high claim for a skin tint. You're supposed to be able to maintain a fresh faced finish no matter what life throws your way. <laughs> That's their words, not mine. <laughs> it has a cocktail of Damascus rose oil, is that even how I say that? I don't know. That's supposed to soothe and plump your skin and then it has red bell pepper extract that's supposed to smooth and plump your skin as well and give it hydration and protect you from blue light pollution. Okay, I did not know peppers gave that but okay, all right. <laughs> And it's also 92.6 naturally derived. Um, but yeah, that's basically what they say on the website. Glowy finish, water sweat, basically life proof. <laughs> Blurring and smoothing, I mean, it all sounds amazing, doesn't it? Especially for the claims of a little skin tint, you know? But we are going to be putting this to the test. We will see how this pans out for my oily skin. I'm gonna be showing you the application, how it wears throughout the day for me. But first, let's do some swatch comparisons so you can see the shade compared to some of my other foundations. And yeah, then let's test this baby out. See you guys in a sec. 
All right, let's do some swatch comparisons. So first of all, obviously we have the Glowish multi Dew in the shade One Fair. Next over, we have the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrops in the shade One, and then the Revolution Glow Body Veil Foundation in the shade F.2. Then we have the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Foundation in the shade 10 Ultra Fair. Next up, we have the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream in the shade 02 Fair. And then finally, we have the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation, and this is in the shade F.2. Okay, let's get into this one. I'm quite excited. I've already primed half of my face on this side with the Paula's Putty Primer, just to see if there's a difference in application or anything. And this is what I use all the time, so I know how it reacts with foundations. I'm gonna be doing my usual, trying it with a brush and a sponge on each side, see which applies better, if it affects the finish, etc. But yeah, let's open this baby up, shall we? I really like the packaging. It does feel like recycled packaging, but I don't mind that. And then this is the component, just a little squeezy tube. Very simple, very straightforward, I quite like it. Now I picked up the lighter shade which is fair and I am a little bit worried that this is going to be too pink. On the website the swatch for this did look more pink toned. The one down looked too dark though and that was more yellow toned so we will see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully because it's a skin tint it won't affect too much but I do prefer like a neutral or yellow toned foundation. It's got a pearlized lid and pump which I think is actually quite pretty. But yeah let's see what the consistency is like. Taking a little bit to actually come out. <laughs> come on. Okay, this looks very thick in consistency. Please like no stain on my hand. I swatched a blush earlier. <laughs> but yeah, it's super duper thick. I was not expecting that. And actually pumped out, the color doesn't look too bad. Great. Let's go ahead and apply this to my face. I'm just gonna dot some on first of all. Yeah, it's such a thick consistency for a skin tint. I'm gonna try it with the brush on this side, see what happens. Okay, it has a very glowy finish, which is what I expected, and super duper like coverage. <laughs> like barely even visible coverage. I think the shade is a little dark. My face is deeper than my neck and chest, so I don't know, if I was gonna not match, I'd probably not wear makeup, you know? Can you see? It's slightly darker than my skin. It kind of stands out a little on my chest there. Obviously not too much because it's not very pigmented, but it is a tad deeper than my actual skin tone, which is kind of annoying, especially since I'm not the palest person in the world, you know? I'm very fair, but there are people lighter than me. Okay, so I like the finish. It's very glowy. It's very light coverage, but that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it was advertised for. It hasn't enlarged my pores or anything. It's quite smoothing on the skin. I do still have like redness peeking through and my freckles peeking through. I'd probably go around with concealer and fix that up, so I'm not too bothered about that. It does just kind of look like I've got healthy radiant skin which is nice. I did use up all of that product so I'm just gonna pump two more pumps out like that. I don't feel like you get a lot out with the pumps. I have a feeling there's no point trying it with a sponge but I'm going to anyway and I will try and build it up also. Okay let's try this out. Okay yeah a lot lighter coverage expected. It's been absorbed a little bit in the sponge and finish looks relevantly similar to the brush side. So I think I would use a brush just for the sake of having a little bit more coverage. <laughs> just gonna try building it up a little bit on my face just to see if we can get more coverage where I kind of need it. And I'm just gonna go in with my brush to do this. As far as the difference on the primed and unprimed side, there is like none. <laughs> so I don't think I would even bother with a product like this, considering it's just a skin tint, you know? I'm just doing one more pump just to even up my forehead. The shade definitely works for my face, so that's a good thing, you know? Had a bit of issue over here, it's kind of accentuated my pores or my nose. Can you see? It's kind of textured around my nose where I've tried to build it up. I'm just gonna try going in with my sponge and lightly dab see if this kind of melts it in. I think it might have helped a little bit, but not fully. It's still a little bit textured around my nose. The finish is uh, super duper glowy. It does look like I've got very healthy skin. Like just put a full oil serum on <laughs> kind of skin, you know? It's pretty, it's radiant. I 
think this is kind of a little bit overkill for me shine wise. I do have oily skin so I'm gonna end up looking a lot worse if I keep it like this. I'm gonna leave it for a minute see if it kind of sets down a little bit and if it doesn't I'm definitely gonna have to powder so we shall see how this works out. I'm gonna do my concealer and stuff and hopefully it'll set down in a minute but yeah we will see so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so I've gone away, I've done my concealer, bronzer and blush. It's now 11.40 but I did finish up actually applying the foundation about 10 minutes ago so let's call the check-in time half 11 and I really like the way my skin is looking. However, I don't feel like it's dried down, it's still very tacky and is transferring so I'm definitely going to need to set this one. The shine is just a lot. <laughs> I do already look like... I've been wearing this for a few hours just because of the shine, you know. Apart from that though, my skin looks really smooth. Can't really see a difference between the primed and unprimed side. I used creams on top of this and there was no issues, they melted right in. I do feel like this has just kind of evened out my skin tone, which is kind of what it's just supposed to do. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup and we'll see what it looks like set down and if anything funky happens, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, I went away, I finished off my makeup and I have powdered this down. It may not even look like it, but I have and I didn't shy away from the powder either. I put it on about 20 minutes ago and um, I feel like it's already eaten away at it. So we shall see how I look by the end of the day. <laughs> but anyway, this is my finished face. It still looks really nice, still looks really smooth, radiant. Everything went over really nicely. I haven't added any like other powders. I just literally added the creams. I'm going for a natural look, obviously with this kind of skin. So just did something simple. I love the eye makeup. It's a new Soph collaboration with Revolution. That champagne shade is everything. But yeah, it's now quarter past 12, so that did not take me long at all. I'm now going to go about my day. I've got a few errands to run, parcels to return, you know, all that jazz. <laughs> so I guess I'll just see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, before I pop away, I just thought I'd do a check-in in natural lighting. Just because I know the softbox sometimes can like blow out things and diffuse things, you know what I mean? So let's zoom you guys in and show you everything. My camera always darkens a little bit, but you can really see my texture then. <laughs> which is great for you guys not so great for me so yeah this is my skin this is what I look like in real life I feel like you might be able to see my skin a little bit more because you can definitely see things through this foundation or skin tint even I was hoping to go to the gym potentially later but I don't know how well this foundation is going to stick through that <laughs> I don't know we'll see how this goes see how long this actually stays on my face it might be that in like eight hours there's nothing left so I might as well wash my face you know we shall see <laughs> I'm obviously gonna try and wear this for as long as possible but yeah this is me I shall see you guys in a bit hey guys this is going to be a quick check-in um it is now five past seven i would have done an earlier check-in but i had a headache so i had to lie down for a little bit but i'm here now so let's look into this foundation i want to scratch it off my face <laughs> i am so shiny and oily it is just too much it's been seven hours so less than a working day and this feels like sticky my hair keeps sticking to it and yeah I just think I'm kind of done with it I don't like the way it feels on my skin you can clearly see where I've like powdered my eyes <laughs> compared to the actual foundation and I did powder this and it just has not stuck around I have actually worn a mask today and it is still on my face but there is a little bit of movement down here I just feel it on my skin and I don't want to so yeah if you have oily skin I would warn to stay away from this because literally I can feel my hair like stick it to my face and I hate it so much I don't think this one is for me but you know we tested it we tried it I'd say it's worn okay coverage wise like it still looks like it's on my skin but my oils have just attacked this one <laughs> so much so that I don't feel like wearing it for a longer period of time I just kind of want to wash my face because I just feel like I need to get it off you know I think if you have a drier skin this would probably be a lifesaver for you so I may pass this on to someone who can appreciate it but yeah I just feel like sticky and I don't like it I'm sorry this is a bit anticlimactic but I hope you guys found it informative anyway <laughs> you know you win some you lose some it's just the way it is <laughs> if you're brand new to my channel and you enjoy makeup content then feel free to subscribe all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll notify you when I upload next and if you enjoyed this very short video and review then please leave a thumbs up so I know it's greatly appreciated and helps me out a lot and yeah 
I'm gonna go now wash my face because I feel and look like a grease ball. <laughs> I hope I see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys.